Okay, I'm going to talk. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself. Short introducing. I'm going to tell you what is direct mail. Have any one of you heard about direct mail? <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what what can direct mail do. It's not just about sending newsletter, but direct mail can do more more on that. Uh, short tips how to make a templates what you should or should not do and we're gonna talk about the future of dry of direct mail if you have some feature requests or have some ideas we can discuss about it so who am i that's me that's my twitter cartolo it's just a simple one I'm originating from Jakarta, Indonesia. It's around in the corner. Um, since 2001, I'm stu uh, I studied at Frankfurt. And then after study, I'm working at the Decade Internet Service. And currently, I'm uh, one of the senior developer at the company. Um, I'm mainly not just making some websites, but also programming extensions. Some of these are direct mail, which is, I'm taking it and maintain it since 2007, 2008. Direct mail subscription, that's another extension for direct mail where you can, where people can subscribe to the newsletter and the data gets right, right through the TT address tables. On DKD news to direct, direct mail, it's a small extension that you can use to automatically send TT news records using direct mail to your users as lists or everything, I don't know, uh, as details from your news. And I have lots of close type of free extension or there's lots of more in there, you can find it. Besides type of uh, type of type of extensions, I'm working also on other projects like uh, the latest uh, user experience week in 2009 or 2010. Doing some bug fixes in type of three core, some kind of kind. So let's get on. What is direct mail? That's the five modules on the direct mail. Uh, just simply sending your typo three page as an email. It can also manage the recipient. You can categorizing your recipient or making your own SQL queries on choosing the recipient who get which newsletter or which content from the newsletter. Collecting click statistic, you can also tracking how many people click on your links. It also supports multiple newsletter setup. It means in typo three you can uh, have multiple sites in one type of installation and you can also in one installation in one site you can have multiple newsletter multiple layouts and also multiple uh, setups so that's a brief what can direct mail do in in general and let's go through on the features one to the others. Next one is sending newsletter. I've, in 2007, I rewrite the newsletter modules. So it's more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, user friendly. It's all wizard based, just like you all knows in Windows world, you just click next if you don't have to make changes in the option, you just click next, 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 and 
there you go you have your uh, direct mail sent the wizard itself is customizable it means for editors you can hide one or other options in the wizard i'll show you in the next slides uh, these options are can be hidden from from your editors so they can uh, for example they can change the sender email address but they can change but they can put some attachment on it it sends using the scheduler modules if you guys know it it sends the type of fee 4.5 and the recurring newsletter sendings it means you can send a draft of a newsletter just a simple template and you can set direct mail to send this template over and over again automatically uh, it's useful if you want to send some TT news or some extension output that generates the content uh, automatically just like you have some events and you want to send a list of some events on every Monday of each week. So sending the newsletter, that is one of, that's the wizard. Here you can see you can, you can have um, four sources of newsletter. You can take it from the internal pages from, from Typo3 or external pages. You can send, okay, I want newsletter from my, from my external websites. Uh, or quick mail. Quick mail is just you type your emails just like uh, as a plain text. There will be no HTML. And direct mail is the list of newsletter drafts you have made before. You can reuse the the newsletter objects. The next steps will be that is all the options. If you are an admin, you can have the options. You can just click off edit and you can change the sender of the email if I want to change my name or change the sender email or uh, attaching some files on it. Step three will be the categorizing of, of the contents. This is a little bit tricky because you have to categorize your, your um, recipient beforehand. It says, uh, example, you have a front end subscription module and you can, uh, you have, uh, you give the option to, to your user to select which newsletter you want to subscribe, which category. And with this option, you can say, okay, the content one is only for the category two, and the, uh, content number two is for the category one, and direct mail handles it automatically. It means that the user one only have the, for example, only have the content one and content three, in their emails and the user two only have the content two on the emails. Step four is where you can test your emails. This address, you can set it up in the options module. I'll show you later. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, you can check it your email right here before you're sending to thousands of users. You can test on your mail clients on web mails or whatever. Step five will be the mass sending from the emails. Yes, there you have the list of the groups to which you want to send the emails and when it should be sending. 
And the last option, save this setting as draft for your, your uh, recurring sendings. That's the interesting part where you can save this settings and direct mail will take these settings for recurring sendings uh, and you can uh, set it up in the scheduler so this draft will be sending every month or every Sunday or whatever it will have the same content but if your content is an extension just like TT News TT News that's, uh, that's, that's uh, producing the contents on the fly and it will have uh, the content automatically then updated. Just says you want to send what is the events for this week. You 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 don't have to uh, click on the through all the wizard every Monday morning, but you have uh, but you need to set these ones and uh, check the second options, and direct mail will send your email on Monday morning. So, the second is about the managing the recipient. Currently, direct mail taking the recipient from the TT address and FA users table. There is some feature requests from the community that it should also be able to send newsletter to the back end user. Maybe you want to tell your uh, back-end user, okay, uh, Typos 3 will be upgraded next week. With direct mail, it's currently not possible, but I'm doing on it. That's the sources from the direct mail. You can choose from, from pages, from sys ordner, from sys folder, or just use the comma separate list that means you type your own email address with comma separated or use static tt address tt address or fa user records means you choose the tt address on your own and have a static list or the free sql queries it means you with the typo 3 sql wizard you build your own queries, just like I want TT address. Uh, I want all the records from TT address where the user is using a Hotmail email address. That is possible. The next interesting part in the man managing recipient is importing from CSV files. It means sometimes you have a, a files having thousands of users and your customer says uh, please send a newsletter to these to these people so we have a built-in importer there's various of settings you can set the car set it means if the if the names on on the, CS, uh, the CSV files is in Khmer or in Japanese or in Chinese you can import it here you can set the car set to UTFH or whatever. Uh, it also supports filtering that you can say, okay, please kick out all the double newsletter from thousand emails. Maybe you have uh, two or three doubles on it. Free mappable fields means you can. Uh, the CSV files does not always have the same structure. That means you can have in the f uh, the first field is the names and the second field is the emails, or maybe you can switch it over. And now there's some screenshots. Yeah, there's from the pages from static list, uh, from special queries, I'll show you the, I'll show you the special query wizards later. And that's down there is the importer.
and that's what uh, the free mappable fields look like. The first field is the field from your from your CSV files. It is automatically detected, and the mapping fields is a, only a drop down from TT address or F, uh, F, FE users. You can set it, okay, the name goes to the first name or something like that, and the emails go to the emails, and address go to e address, and custom one goes to whatever, triple W fields. And that's down there, the categories and the HTML newsletter flags, that will be applied to all the users in the files. So, next one will be the statistic modules. It's, it is interesting for the marketing people. So they can, they can have some figures, how many people read my newsletter, or they just throw my, my, my newsletter to the trash bin. You can have some pixel bug on your HTML newsletter. Using this pixel bug is just a small one byte images, GIF images, uh, and direct mail counts how much this images is opened from the client. The click links, there is nothing tricky behind that. You just have the amounts of the people who clicks on your links, who's click on which links, and the returned newsletter. You can have the email, uh, the number of how many emails are returned because of the email is wrong or the inbox is full, something like that. So some screenshots going to be a little bit tiny. In the first block is just the general information about your newsletter what it's called, to how many people is sent. And the second block is about the how many HTML emails are sent, how many plain text are sent, how many are returns. Um, the responses one is the click links, how many links are click. And the link responses is the the number of of the user who click on the links right here we have three links and the users are 36 click on the first link only 10 clicks on the second link and the last one only four clicks so hmm, on the bottom line there's the mails return statistic on this one is everything is zeros there's no emails are returned because of some failure. Talking about newsletter, multiple newsletter setup. In general, newsletter is just like a multi subsites from your typo 3 installation that means you can have your own typo script you can have your own uh, layouts and everything it means uh, for every for every sys folder from the direct mail you can have your own layout your own html templates But it also can have, for each sys folder, it can have its own direct mail setup. Just like you can uh, preset your sys folder to have, this sys folder always have 
my name as this as 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 sender and the other sys folder has the company names as the sender and something uh, like that um, the setup module itself is looking like that there is six part the first part is for the headers of the direct mails for the newsletter itself uh, it contains just name emails email sender and uh, and the priority of the emails if you send your emails you can set the priority to high to low with direct mail you can also do that uh, the second one is for the mail content of the format you can send it as HTML or the old school style only text uh, or both the mail fetching options is used to which domain is used in this newsletter setup you can have multiple sites on your typo three installation you can here you can set okay this newsletter is for domain A and the other setup is for domain B and etc the transfer and coding character set is useful if you have your newsletter in other character set as your normal websites just like you have your normal website in UTF-H, but you want to send your emails in the old um, ISO car set. Or the encoding, you want the encoding in base uh, 64 or in the quoted principle. The option for the links in the mail content is useful and you have to set it if you want to use the statistic module because if you not set this one all the links will be I will say that human readable it means the links will be connected directly to the to the to the link what you input it in your typo 3 but if you set set the jump URL here all the links will be will be directed firstly to your websites and then will be directed to the um, to the end of the links you want to go that means in this way direct mail can 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 count which links are clicks and the ed in the additional module options is for the ID of the test user, which we see in the uh, in the wizard in the fourth and in the fourth steps. So that is the basic features of direct mail. There are more features. Categorizing recipient and content. Um, on the basic direct mail setup, if you just uh, install it from TER, you won't see these two fields in the page content or in the TC address records. You have to you have to uh, to enable it using these two these two page typo script. And the free SQL queries will be looking like this one. This is an example from an easy TT address, where you can choose the field. Uh, in this example, is the height is false. There you see which SQL will be generated, and you can uh, add uh, and PID equals uh, from the page 
from the ID 76 and you can maybe you can add uh, where email is like at hotmail.com so recurring sendings I'll talk about it previously we're just sending the same content we're clicking through the wizard again and again automatically using schedulers and we have here the screenshot from the fifth wizard where I have said the second checks box is the important one so let's go to the templating since it's a little bit tricky one the important one on templating on newsletter we just work on all I would say on all almost all clients like Outlook mail on Mac or whatever is using table based layout while on table based layout you have a fixed width you can set all the text all the images on the fixed place maybe if you have some bullet list you have some fancy bullet list it's not using the normal dot one from html maybe you want to use some colorful stars as bullet list and put it also as a table layout it means on the first field is your stars and the second field is your text it's going to be tricky uh, to rewrite this one using typo script but it's doable and the image text in a normal website is it's easy using diff as a structure and float it right, float it right, but not in newsletter. Before 4.5 type of three, there is a static template called content default. In this content default, there is the old school one. All the image text is generated in a table based layout but since type 4.6 or the new CSC there's the uh, contents uh, CSS style content static template all the ima uh, text image will be rendered using diff or DL text it means you have to set the render method using the diff and in the end you have to rewrite all the wraps using the tables using tdtr's uh, text it's a little bit hassle using the 4.5 and 4.7 but it's it is possible um, currently I'm doing some some standard typo script in 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 direct mail so you can have it uh, an option for the 4.5 or 4.6 and 4.7 that you can just uh, so you don't have to rewrite all over it again but it's on on the to-do list templating CSS since we are sending HTML it will be boring if all the fonts looking all the same no backgrounds no colors that's where CSS come to use CSS so few as possible just use for the font styling instead of using the, the normal Times New Roman using some aerials or whatever you want but try not to position images, text, or whatever using CSS because it will break on the old Outlook Express or on Lotus Notes or whatever. Um, put style text in body. I know this is not this is not uh, HTML fail it, but for gmail for web mails like gmail hotmails i don't know maybe yahoo they are cutting off all the heads all the heads of your html emails will be throughout 
it means or if you put your style text in the in 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 head it it will also be thrown up from uh from the from from the males that you can that you have to put the style tag in body it's working but not feel it or use the inline css that is the secure way but there's a lot of to do's using it in the uh, uh, writing the inline css in the typo script images some customers want the images sent with the emails so if the if the recipient open the newsletter pop the images will be there but the downside of this is your email size will be huge i've seen email more than two or three megabytes big sometimes it's more than five megabytes big because there's a lot of image in it solution is always avoid embedding images and using an alt text so if the images is not is not loaded uh, on the client side the client see what 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 uh, the description of the image embedding images is also useful for avoiding some spam assassins from for spam detectors because if you embed images or files this binary will be will be encoded using the base fear uh, uh, 64 uh, encoding and as long as I know there's a lot of spam detectors programs that that is set uh, to avoid all emails that is in base 64 encoded or have mainly about 80% of its body is base 64 encoded it will be marked as spam and maybe will not reach your your readers Here are some links. The emailology.com is there's a lot of hints, tips on how templating your emails for mobile devices for iPhone or iPads or something like that. Uh, the second one, the campaignmonitor.com slash CSS, there's a huge table. Um, there's a checklist which CSS is supported in which client. They'll show also all, almost all of the web clients like Gmail, um, Yahoo, and etc. The third one is interesting since it tells you some of the new CSS3 uh, syntaxes that is useful on iPads, iPhone and mobile uh, and Windows devices. So the last slide is the future of direct mail. If you have some question, feature request, or if you find some bugs, I don't know, just go there on the forge or the mailing list, or contact me through email or Twitters. Um, I'm going to respond and hap uh, will happily help you if any questions. That's all for now. Questions? Comments, discussions, future requests. Um, does newsletter support multi language? Multi language? Um, 
currently no because the content you are input it in 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 typo 3 as the normal tt content the normal tt content um let's explain you like um, the normal typo 3 websites you can have multi languages you can you can put a language menu on your sites and if the user switches the menus it's all be there but not in direct mail because direct mail takes only one page and there is no no recognition which user is using which language um, the easiest solution is using the categories but it means you have to put your you have to set two direct mails to newsletter and set the first newsletter is for everyone who is uh, who is subscribing uh, subscribing the first language and the other in the other language as categories videos 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 never try it yet but I think it should be video as attachment or as HTML5 tags if as attachment you can attach every kind of files but if it's uh, HTML5 text, the video text, maybe some mail clients won't support it. I don't know. Haven't tried it yet. Backgrounds. Yes, like background, like uh, background color behind all the content, um, or even a background image. From my experience, using backgrounds, uh, using backgrounds uh, per CSS, there are some problems on on web clients, like perhaps Outlook or the old Outlook is not uh, supporting it. Um, if you have TDs, you can put some backgrounds in it on the colors that is supported. Um, I'll show you. I'll show. You, I'll show you. There's the campaign monitor CSS on just find backgrounds. There you have your answers. Some background for CSS is supported almost in all. But like here, if you have background image for CSS, it's not supporting an Outlook. And perhaps almost 50, 60, 70 percent of the of the company users using Outlook as their standard email client. But from direct mail itself, is there is no problem. Direct mail just 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 send the HTML as you coded it. I have a lot of questions, but that's a little bit vague. Um, I once uh, set up direct mail and had problems with getting the user feedback, like who has clicked, who has opened the mm -hmm. newsletter, and who has um, um, who has clicked on the link. Uh, I was wondering if you have a general advice 
guys. Have you set the jump URL options? Maybe because if you give us some hints like what is really important to get that in feedback. But the statistics, right? Yes, exactly. Just a second. No. The main features of the click of 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 of, of the link statistic is set right over here. You have to enable the jump URLs and set this one to redirect all the links. It means all the links will, will be firstly redirect to your websites. Have you checked these two options? In this one, maybe there's nothing. <laughs> Because this is my this is my test uh, my test installation. Yeah. Uh, there's no. Because this is my uh, this is my test installation. There's no 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 data. I uh, can show you. Maybe I can show you from a live websites. Uh, where does it go? Uh, there you are. So there's the live websites from the DKD. And there you go. It has three checkbox but the second one will be overriding this one because it says override all links not all not not links longer than 76 characters responses only four clicks only 14 clicks from 700 emails maybe I can look at your installation later if you need some help. More questions, comments? Thank you. I have a problem with the 
and also I from my experience I used to run great project. And then we need to test the direct mail. Okay. It, it was fine with sending and receiving mail, but the problem is with the content of the mail. Your content is not readable at the time. Displays character that we, we are not readable and it's different from what we send. So is that bug or is there any proper uh, solution to that problem? What do you mean by not readable? Is the text is garbled or it's, yes. Uh, or, or or the structure is for example I, I just enter the numeric content as example. Yes, the word example. But the mail content display a lot of characters. It could be a problem in the email headers or which direct mail version are you using? The latest one, the 3.0 something or the old one? And the direct mail version? Because there was a problem with the 2.0 six something or the 2.7 something and the latest one is the 3.01 the same problem with the 3.0 uh, it was the problem on the header because uh, the type of 3 API uh, from the 4.4 and the 4.5 there's a huge there's a huge changes that makes the the direct mail uh, the email headers are garbled in these versions make sure you have uh, updated your direct mail extensions too because the latest one I have uh, the 3.01 I have tested it using the 4.5 4.6 and 4.7 all using the Swift Mailer API when it's working. And there's no problem with it. Next one. Okay, I have one question. Uh, it does not mention about CSV file that uh, newsletter can import data from CSV file. Yes, I, I want to ask you that if the data in SV, uh, CSV file is so many, many records, uh, how can uh, can it is a problem to import because I used to have problem with import uh, SDV, um, CSV file into my HDL because uh, it said that the content is too long so I cannot import directly I use the, the command line to import it uh, can this happen in this letter? I have this problem too frequently because of in the end there's the um, the limitation in PHP in the memory of the PHP or the uh, execution time from the PHP um, because in the normal installation is PHP only have uh, about uh, 128 megabytes of memory and 30 seconds execution time and if you are trying to importing 10 thousands of data maybe it took about two minutes or something that's the question of how powerful is your server and how, how, how many memories are allocated for your PHP process. Any more questions? Sorry. Is there any way to track the some specific user, I mean, reader, open the link? You mean not the general amounts of the clicks, but you want to see if the user A has clicked the link one? Um, the specific groups? Yes. Yeah. But for some specific group of people among the hundreds, 
I want to see cave ten of them open. Hmm. <clears throat> The data is safe in the data in, in, in the data is safe in the database, but currently there is no no few in the back end modules. Um, you can make your own queries using PHP my admin or directly to the SQL uh, server. Well there is then uh, because for every clicks there is there's 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 a record in the statistic table which user ID, which link ID on what time? Because in because in Germany there is there's there's a problem using such statistic data because of privacy uh, low. Um, I would say yes, the data is there. Maybe you should write some 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 enhancement extension just to show this data. Um, I can show you what do I have here? I can show you the table A second. Can show the PHP my admin on the table called sys email mail log, and there you have all the On here you have the the lock records uh, on the links on the click links. Here you have uh, this is the URL IDs. Well, every URL have the IDs. You can just count it from 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 the top one to the bottom. The top one has the IDs zero, one, two, three, and etc. And here is your email IDs. If you create a direct mail, it has an IDs. You can look at uh, sample is this one. It has the IDs. Where do I find the IDs? Let's go back. If you look at this, there's the sysdmail ID says this 21. You can just query your SQL. Um, you can look to the mid. Mid is the mail ID, and read is the reader ID. In this way, you can you can you can look up your SQL, looking for a specific person. 
but currently there's 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 no comfortable way to show it in in backends. Does it help? Um, sorry, um, thank you. I went for the presentation and since we run out of time, so if you have any other question, you can go to him after this or during the day. And we have some snack and coffee, something downstairs, so um, that's all great. Thank you.